guys and welcome to today's video. This morning I am off to go get my hair done because I had to schedule it a certain way in order for me to have one more appointment before the baby's here. So it's a little bit earlier than I would normally get my hair done. Like I usually wait eight weeks in between, but I did six weeks this time so that the timing is all perfect for baby. That is what I'm off to do this morning, but honestly this week has been like one of the most stressful weeks for me. I don't know if it's just because like nesting is really hitting me hard. I don't know what it is, but work has been so crazy. I feel like I don't even have time to breathe or sleep. I mean, I haven't really the last two days. I woke up at six and worked till 10 on Monday. And then yesterday I worked till 7 p.m. So it hasn't been a fun last two days and today is going to be very similar, except I got to sleep in, so that was nice. I just knew I needed that sleep or else it wasn't gonna be good. I'm trying to stay positive because it's a cold morning. It feels really chilly. I'm gonna go get a Starbucks, which is always good. I'm in my favorite fall shoes, a cozy sweater. I'm gonna go just relax, have some me time, get my hair done. Cause there's nothing I can do about it while I am getting my hair done. So might as well just enjoy the time, relax. I also have my 30 week appointment today with my doctor. And today is when I officially switched to an appointment every two weeks. So before I was every four weeks and it was every other one was in person because of COVID. But now it's every two weeks and they're all going to be in office at my doctor's office. It's crazy how fast it is happening. He's gonna be here so soon, only 10 weeks left if I make it all the way to 40 weeks. But I have a feeling that I will because I know a lot of first time moms go all the way to 40 weeks, but you never know, he could come early still. So yeah, I'm gonna go pick up my Starbucks. Wow, that sun is bright. And I will catch up with you guys when I get to the hair salon. All right, I just got to the hair salon. I was stressing, I thought I was gonna be late, but it's literally only like three minutes from my house. So I'm gonna go in, I have my mask on and ready to go. I've got my hot latte today because it is a very cold morning. Let's go get this hair done. All right, the hair is all done. It looks so much better, so much cleaner and fresh and ready for Thanksgiving and everything. So I am so happy with that. Now I'm gonna head home and do some work and then my doctor's appointment is at two o'clock and right now it's 10.45. So I have a little bit of time to do some work, which will be good. I don't know what exactly they're gonna be checking and they've never let me film in there. So I'll just update you guys after, but I'm excited to get an update on the baby and yeah, so let's go home and get some work done. All right, I'm back in the car in the same spot for you guys, but it's been a few hours. I got a lot of work done, so I'm feeling a lot better, but I still have a lot more to do when I get back. But the drive said it's gonna take me like 40 minutes to get there, which is not typical. Usually it's like 20-ish minutes, so I think there's just a lot of traffic out because it's in the afternoon and not in the morning. Usually I do my appointments in the morning, but since I had my hair appointment this morning, I did it in the afternoon. I'm excited to see all their updates about baby. I'm gonna ask them how they think he is size-wise because I honestly have no idea. Everybody that sees me says that my belly looks really small, but I feel huge, so I don't know um, how he's measuring. So that will be really exciting to see. Hopefully she can give me an answer. Maybe we'll hear the heartbeat. So I am just going to head over to my doctor's and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. So I just had a total pregnancy moment because when I checked my maps at home, it was routing me to their San Diego office, which is like an extra 30 minutes away. So I'm here like super early now because <laughs> I was like, there's not much traffic out. And I checked my phone when I actually got here. I was like, why was it saying 40 minutes? I literally got here in like 15 minutes and it had the San Diego location plugged in. So I'll just go into the office a little bit earlier in case they can start my appointment early or something. But I'm excited to get some updates. Hopefully they're all good and positive, praying for a healthy baby boy and I'll let you guys know what they say. It was 
was like two minutes long because all I had to do was check my weight, check the baby's heartbeat, which was cool to hear again. And yeah, they measured my stomach and that was literally it. So they said everything looks good. And my next appointment will actually be over FaceTime. Interesting times, but now I'm actually going to make Honey's Halloween costume because I have a theme of what I wanna to do. Today's Wednesday, Halloween is this weekend, but Jacob is actually getting his wisdom teeth out tomorrow. So we need to hurry and do these costumes and take the picture before Halloween and hopefully before it gets dark tonight, but maybe we can work out the lighting. But it shouldn't take me that long because all I have to do is make Honey's costume and I'm gonna be Winnie the Pooh and she's gonna be my little honey pot. And I got this blue costume on Amazon. I'll link it down below. And I'm gonna take this yellow felt and do like little honey drips around it so that she looks like a honey pot. And then if I have time, I'll write out the honey letters. So it says honey on the back. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to hot glue the felt onto the shirt and hopefully she'll cooperate and wear it for the picture. So let's get to making this costume. It looks so, so cute. So now hopefully she'll want to wear it. <laughs> now I'm gonna get changed into my costume and get all ready and then we're gonna take our picture. Okay, I am in my costume. I have my little bear ears that are space buns, my black nose, red shirt, and a yellow skirt to be Winnie the Pooh. Honey's little honey pot. Jacob is Christopher Robin, very simple and easy. We didn't have a yellow shirt, so we just made a little collared shirt work, but it's perfect. We're gonna go down, get the camera all set up, and then we're gonna put on Honey in her costume because I have a feeling she's gonna really hate it. So this should be interesting. Okay, I think we got it. I will put some of the pictures in here for you guys so you can see them. Comment down below what you guys wore for Halloween. If you guys did anything, I'd love to know. All right guys, it is a few days later and today is actually Halloween. So happy Halloween. I know this is gonna be posting way after Halloween, but I hope you guys had a good day. Um, but right now I'm going to do a cute little Halloween like candy charcuterie board. I got some um, like cute Halloween candies. These ones are gummy worms, some gummy pumpkins, and then I got these um, yogurt covered pretzels that have like orange and um, chocolate on them. So those are really cute. I also have some candy corns and I'll see what else I pull into it, but I have my cute little board here. I'm just gonna do a little cute snack board for a little lunch afternoon snack. And yeah, I just thought it'd be really cute. I always see these on Pinterest and I think they're so fun. So I'm gonna do one for fun, do a little post for Instagram. And yeah, the rest of the day, we're just gonna be kind of here. I don't know how many trick-or-treaters we'll get. Last year, we literally only got one and I was like so, so excited for it. And then we only got one. So we'll see um, how many we get this year, but we're just gonna be hanging out at the house. Honey's just hanging out, aren't you? Um, I have my cute sweater on. I just got this from H&M and I love the little buttons on it. I feel like it's so cute and it's so comfortable. And yeah, yesterday I was working a ton on the nursery, getting stuff all figured out. And then we also got my order in from H&M for a bunch of baby things that I ordered. So I'll also show you guys that really quick. So 
here is the finished board. I think it turned out so cute. I went and grabbed some of the pumpkins from our front porch and added those in. I got these really cute lanterns on my trip to Idaho and I think they're just so cute. I have a little tea light in there and I have this Bath and Body Works candle and a little tea towel and all the fun little treats, but I think it turned out so cute. Perfect for Instagram. Sadly, Jacob can't have any of this because he just got his wisdom teeth out, but yeah, it looks so cute. I love it. I just realized I put all of the H&M things that I got for him away in his dresser already, so I'll show you guys what I have in the dresser so far. I know I showed you guys this before, but now this is all of the newborn stuff we have after both baby showers and after my H&M order. Um, I think these ones right here are all from H&M. They're just like super simple onesies. Here I have pants and bibs. And then these are all of the sleepers that we have. And this is all newborn size. And I feel like this will be enough because sometimes babies don't even fit into newborn stuff. I think he will for maybe a week or two or so. So it's good to have some newborn stuff just in case. Um, but then the next drawer we have is zero to three month so again these are all the onesies and shirts and like outfits that we have pants and then sleepers so i do need a few more zero to three month sleepers probably but a few of these ones are like the knotted gowns so i think those will fit him for a long time so we probably won't need too many more the very bottom drawer is six months so those are all sleepers and onesies pants and then i think this is one year old so we'll definitely need to stock up on six month stuff but i think i'm gonna wait until he's here and i get a good sense of how he's fitting into different clothes and things like that so and then in this one we have some hats socks mittens over here i think is the same just diapers burp cloths wipes and then a bunch of different lotions and things back there. We also got our changing pad, so that fits perfectly on here. Got some more socks from H&M just in case. And then these are all the pacifiers we have for him so far. I think I'm going to order some of the Ryan and Rose ones though, just in case he doesn't like these. But yeah, I think we have plenty of this kind for now. Yeah, that is his clothes situation. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will continue to update you guys on all things baby so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one bye